think that's good. I'm a nightmare for getting fingerprints on the GoPro lens. Gotta be so careful. Nothing tastes better than a cold, naked mango machine. <coughs> cough, cough. Straight from the fridge when you get back from the bike ride. Enjoyable ride today. It wasn't that busy out on the road. Not really. Just flopped around. Plodded around the lanes like I usually do. Like... <clears throat> live in a good area for cycling. Southwest UK, you know. Like, I don't always ride the same routes. But there's a few little runs. A few little rat runs or whatever that... I'm pretty consistent with on different days, whatever. I just flex it around a bit, you know? I don't like getting into the same, like, <clears throat> habits of riding the same same routes and roads, you know? Or you can, like, ride them in reverse or whatever. Or, like, today, I just, like, shot down a few lanes that I've never been down before, which is cool. But the thing is with me, right, I can, like... It's like people that don't really recognise their... If you're training, like you're overtraining, you know, like it, depending on what you're doing, you know, you don't really need to like, you can do very little to get quite a lot, if you know what I mean. Like you can get big gains for doing little gain, little like efforts, if that makes sense. <clears throat> Depends like what you're doing really, but just to go out and sit in the saddle and say you're training and whatever. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of a, a junk miles, you know? I just like to go out on my bike and just get the benefits from that, you know? A few efforts here and there, whatever. It's all good fun. It's like, <clears throat> sometimes, like a lot of things, right? you lose interest so like the best thing to do is just to give it a rest for like a few days or a few weeks or whatever I've done it myself no problem and then you like fresh when you get get back into it again but weather when it's like nice when it does start to warm up like today's been the first day yay with the shorts Felt alright actually. A bit chilly coming back in places and then the sun came out again. But yeah, it does feel weird being back in shorts. Milk bottle uh, white legs. But it's alright. It's cooler as well, you know. It does feel quite nice when you're going up a climb or something. Um, yeah, that's what I was going to show you about. A lot of people have said to me actually when I've been riding in the past about... Um, I always wear like arm sleeves because you know if you're out in the day and it's hot I don't like to get burnt burnt forearms there's nothing worse than burnt forearms I don't know why but put cream on your legs or whatever you use you know whether you're into using creams or alternative stuff whatever legs I can handle a bit you know but arms I don't know what it is with arms so I'm using these these are they're Mavic, all right? But they're like hot summer. They're like a hot summer arm cooler. Um, and they do the job perfect of keeping my arms out of the sun. They're like UV protected or whatever. Or whatever, you know, whatever. And, uh... I always get a snotty, snotty nose riding, man. But, yeah, get yourself some of these, like... Different colours, whatever. There's different makes. All companies make them. But it's getting the right ones, you know? <clears throat> you want to be getting the ones that are like summer specific. Otherwise, the winter ones have got like the fleece on inside. And you're just going to cook. I've actually even got some thinner Mavic ones than these. They're just m such a thin material. They, they're quite old now. Well, um, well, they're still held up pretty well. They haven't like come apart. Um... And what I will say with arm, like arm warmers or arm coolers or whatever, I used to 
I used to put them on and then put my jersey over the top so the arm we'll call them arm coolers all right go underneath the sleeve all right they go underneath underneath the sleeve all right but then they might ride down and then you're trying to stick them under the sleeve again all this sort of stuff or just let them ride down whatever but the trouble is if you keep doing this all the time they can ruin your jerseys like they, they can end up going really loose around here so what I do now, I just like pull them over the top of the sleeves like that. You see? And you know, they'll stay in place. Like these ones I've got around the top. You've got like little grippers. So, you know, they'll stay in place. They did do the whole ride today. But actually, there was a point where they did kind of come down just a little bit like that. But otherwise, they, they, won't, they won't move. So that's something to bear in mind if you're somewhere warm or it is a hot day and you're worried about getting burnt arms or something as i said you know you can get different colors different companies do different sorts but just make sure you get the ones with like out the, without the fleece or something inside otherwise you know obviously all right for winter but not when you're in a hot climate or in the sun all day so just want to share that and yeah happy biking man there's lots of stuff you don't really need you need to kind of like decide on that um these cycling shoes i've got here these ones these guns i really don't know how old those are six or seven years and again they're road shoes you know i don't have a problem with walking around in road cleats um, I don't even know. Well, these cleats have been on there for ages, such a long time. They don't really wear that fast at all. But you know, that's just me. I do ride a mountain bike pedal sometimes, and you just got to do what suits you rather than follow what someone else says. You know. So thanks for watching, and get naked with these, man. They're good. Antioxidant. See you later.